Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20, and today I want to talk to you about a somewhat new feature, uh, and I say somewhat because this feature did exist in previous versions, however it wasn't straight out of the box, uh, and that is the Employee Center portal page. So let's go ahead and head over to it, take a quick look. This is just going to be kind of a brief overview. So we'll go to portals here. And we can see here we've got our typical uh, service portal. Uh, and then if we look up a little, we do have this employee center portal. Now, this was an option that you could utilize in Rome. Uh, however, it was an additional plugin that you needed. So let me just pull this up here. Um, ESC is the suffix here. So the purpose of this portal, uh, and, and another place that this portal existed was going to be in the HR module. Uh, there was, there is an employee center portal there as well, but kind of the idea with this new functionality is that it allows you to have all of your portals into kind of a singular spot. So whether if you use the, the more modules you use, you the more different portals you may potentially have, right? An HR portal, uh, a project management portal, an IT portal, uh, all of those different places. And so with the employee center, the idea is that as an employee of the organization, there's really only one spot that I want to go. I don't want to have to figure out which portal needs what. I want to have one spot to go. And really that's kind of where the employee center is trying to, to come in and, and look. Now, in this, you can see I don't have that much. I haven't done any development on this instance of mine, uh, but this is just the out of the box in San Diego uh, employee center portal. So we can see it does have some similarities to the previous service portal. Uh, we got the how can we help and it's got some popular topics and my active items here. Um, one of the features that uh, we do have here is tours. So your administrator can actually make a tour of the different pages, uh, which can be extremely helpful, especially to your new users to have that. Uh, the rest of these items are, are pretty similar. My tasks, my requests, and then this is just the, your profile. If, and then if you're an admin or, or have the impersonate role, you can, of course, impersonate users as well. So once again, the, the purpose of this is just to have that kind of like that one-stop shop, one place that looks nice, that's easy to navigate, um, that you can kind of figure out what users are, are looking for. Now, on the other side of things too, you can build pieces into this that will define basically a guided setup. So the employee or the customers coming to this portal, they have questions, you can guide them uh, to exactly what they need. And a lot of this can be done through things like your virtual agent. Um, so just a lot of kind of cool functionality coming together into one spot to make things as easy as possible. Because in the end, that's really kind of what we want is we don't want to make things difficult. Uh, IT can be a complicated place. HR can be a complicated place. Project management, finance, all of these things can be complicated. But the if we can create a single stop shop that isn't as complicated for our customers and users on the back end, it doesn't matter how complicated it is, as long as it's easy to use. So I think this does a pretty good job at, at accomplishing this. Uh, I'll be diving into more of this myself, doing some additional development into this, seeing the additional features that it can do. I did just want to take just a, a minute of your time just to show you that this exists. This is out of the box in San Diego. Uh, and like I said, it's pretty cool. So that's all I've got for today. Thanks and have a great day.